Hello world, this is Chris with Elevations doing another unboxing. So we got a handful of these in. This is a two-pack of the Raspberry Pi camera system. This is the 5 megapixel version and this is supposed to be able to give us full 1080 video. As I've mentioned before, there is the affiliate link below and I would appreciate if you are interested in this item, utilize that link. That does not increase or change your price in any way, but it does give us credit uh, for these videos and for your purchase. Uh, so just to read this off here, in case you can't quite read it very well in the video, that is the X002D5LW71. And again, this is a two-pack. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up this first box. And pulling these right out, there are two Raspberry Pi cameras in this single box. Setting the box off the side here, uh, so since this is a double pack, they are both the exact same thing here as you can see. And then they are in the static free packaging. Opening up that packaging, we can just slide that camera right out. Now, there is a shorter ribbon cable on these cameras. There are options. options for longer ribbon cables if you think you might need them. Uh, this one, I believe, is a 6-inch ribbon cable. Now, a good thing to note here is there are contacts on one side, and the other side is this blue in color. The blue in color, when you do insert that into the camera port on your Raspberry Pi, that blue color will be facing your Ethernet ports or your interface ports. And then the actual... Uh, connections themselves will be facing away from your interface ports. That's how you connect that onto the main board of the Raspberry Pi. So this is, like I mentioned, the 6-inch ribbon cable here, and then you actually have the camera module here at the end of it. Uh, on the other side here, you actually can see this is the camera lens itself. It does have a little bit of a protective film on that. Uh, this does have the capability of disconnecting from that board, so you can swap this ribbon cable out for a longer cable or a shorter cable, depending on your needs. Um, right here on the chip itself, where they printed circuit board PCB, it, it does note Raspberry Pi camera revision 1.3. So this is the version 1.3. Uh, this does have that screen protectors or the lens protector on it that I mentioned. Uh, let's just go ahead and open up the other one. It should be the exact same thing. And uh, this is not the very first one we've ever opened to this. Uh, I have not seen any damage or any issues with any of these as I've opened them. And as you can see here, I have another box as well. So we have a total of six cameras that came in this delivery. Same ribbon cable. Same revision number. And the PCB is the exact same. So these will be will have one camera per Raspberry Pi, and we do have Raspberry Pi 3s and Raspberry Pi 4s in our lab. And then opening up this secondary box, like I mentioned, we do have a couple of these, and they are identical. So there's really no difference between any of these cameras, and that's something that you really want to see. And that's what's nice about buying all of the same. You're not dealing with potential differences on these cameras. If you're dealing with, uh, say, a project like we are, where we have a lab, and I want everything as identical as possible for our peripherals. That way, everybody in the lab is dealing with the same hardware. We don't have issues that might be different with different pieces of hardware. And this last one here, and again, as I had mentioned, this is the uh, two boxes out of the three boxes in total, so six cameras in total that we have. I have not seen any issues with any of the printed circuit boards, the lenses, the cameras themselves, no rip ribbon cables, no issues at all. So I'm quite happy with this product. And like I mentioned, we ordered three of these boxes for a total of six cameras, and they seem to be working quite well. I'm hoping to integrate these in our lab environment here quite soon. So this should be an interesting aspect, and we want to be uh, eventually adding these to some pan tilt servo systems so it'll be really fun for our raspberry pi python programming project during this covid 19 lockdown situation my name is chris with elevations i hope you learned something please like and subscribe below thank you for watching